Welcome back to the channel of Shades of Grey Nomads. If you're new to the channel, welcome. The idea of this channel is to share our experiences while we travel Australia and post it on our Facebook page. If you are also a like-minded person and wish to share your experiences, please go to our Facebook page and join and then post your travel experiences. We pulled into the Dunny-Doo Caravan Park which is a first in, first dressed, and the landlord comes late in the afternoon. Golgon, home of the $10 motel, which featured on the $10 note years ago, was a surprising little town, a town where Henry Lawson spent most of his childhood but the Gold Rush era architecture just blew us away. It was fantastic to see. This place has got everything, darling. Isn't it? Unbelievable. Owls have just come on and on. Next stop was Mudgy, staying at the local showgrounds. Hill End outside Mudgee is a must-see, an old gold mining town where once upon a time there were 28 hotels, now there's one. This is a beautiful historical village with beautiful architecture and old stone houses and churches. We found this small caravan park just outside Hill End. this place. Well decorated up with CMFU flags, Eureka Stockade flags. He's obviously a fan of scam, eh? We stayed at the Bathurst Showgrounds with these beautifully preserved National Trust pavilions. The grounds were great, plenty of room and close to the city.
were heading to Janolan Caves, but unfortunately the roads to the caves were closed due to washouts and road closures. Then Sue mentioned that she hadn't been to the Three Sisters or the Blue Mountains, so we hightailed it to Katoomba. The town of Cara was well known for one of the largest POW camps in World War II. Over 5,000 prisoners of war made up of Indonesians, Italians and of course Japanese. The Japanese POWs with their theory, death before dishonour, decided to launch a suicide escape attacking the Australian guards. Around 230 Japanese soldiers were killed and five Australians were killed in their escape attempt. In the Kara Information Centre, there's a great hologram display of this story. As the POWs swarmed around the gun trailer, they were now too close for the unwieldy vickers. These gardens were created as a symbol of peace between the Australian and Japanese people. Meanwhile, back at Bathurst, this is a must-do when visiting this area. I drove the D-Max, less the caravan, around Mount Panorama Circuit. Yoo-hoo! Well, that's it for this uh, end of the journey from uh, we just left Bathurst and heading west. A um, couple of great places we went to. Um, Hill End, that was great though, wasn't it? Yes, it's a place of my childhood memories um, of school holidays. I used to go there quite a bit, so that was great. Golgon, that blew me away. Yeah, that was nice. We didn't stay overnight there though. No, nah, bit of a shame, we could have explored more. Mm. But, um, yeah, Mudgy was wet. Not so <coughs> nice, the caravan. Oh no, the showgrounds. The showgrounds had a, a park start. nazi. Yeah, a, bit, a bit nasty, but anyway. But anyway, Bathurst, yeah, we ended up, we stayed sort of plenty a week. That was nice. We sort of did a lot of exploring from there. Went from uh, to Cowra to Katoomba. Um, even though I grew up in New South Wales, I've never been to see the three, three sisters, so that was nice. Unfortunately, we missed the Janolan Caves because uh, one road approaching uh, the, the caves was complete washed out uh, after the bad weather, and the other one was closed until the weekend, so we just couldn't make it. So, never mind. But anyway, uh, don't forget to like us on Facebook, subscribe to the to the um, YouTube channel, and as Sue always says, hi. No, <laughs> it's not all about us. <laughs> it's not about us. We just want other people to contribute as well. Exactly. So join the join the group and put up your post. See you next time. Bye.